The Greenleaf Friends Academy girls basketball team made their first state tournament appearance today since 2009. They lost to Prairie 67 to 23, but the team suffered a much more devastating loss last week. Their assistant coach Loma Biddick was killed in a car wreck. The head coach Loma's husband Jim was hospitalized. The team played today with their coaches in their hearts. Our Jude Binkley spoke to the team at practice yesterday. Faith, hope, resilience. Qualities the girls basketball team from Greenleaf Friends Academy shows on and off the hardwood. I think just like mentally preparing and really bonding as a team this past week. But after clinching a spot in the state tournament for the first time since 2009, a tragedy changed the team's season and the players' lives. On February 9th, a couple hours before their district championship game, head coach Jim Biddick and his wife, assistant coach Loma Biddick, got in a car crash. Jim was hospitalized and is recovering. You never think you're gonna have to see your coach in that position to where you have to tell your coach, so like, okay, you're gonna be okay. Like, that's what he tells us. And now just like roles are kind of reversed. The team has been able to visit Jim in the hospital. Like I'm glad he comforts him knowing that we can be there for him. The players felt he was relieved to see them given what he's lost. Loma died in the crash. She taught math at Greenleaf Friends Academy for years. It was the best math class I've ever had. And coached volleyball along with basketball. She was pretty amazing. Students say she was involved in their lives on the court. She was incredibly uplifting and in the classroom absolutely always positive she will always point out the positive in whatever you're doing whether that be in the classroom or on the court when you saw one you knew you'd see the other soon and they were just a dynamic duo that you wanted to be around and they were like you could see their love they showed you all their love and they were just a huge impact in my life and just in the community at the school an impact made clear the night of the crash when the district championship game was called off fans who showed up at the canceled game stayed to support the team they all prayed together and the chapel service for the biddicks was held the next day and there were so many people there just wanting to make sure we felt loved and that we felt supported. And I think that just shows that Greenleaf is like a huge support system. Schools within their conference sent them cards, flowers, and candy. And like, it just shows that it's so much more than basketball. Like it's actually, it's a community, not just within the school or the, like our community next to us, but like statewide and anywhere. Like they feel our pain, they're with us. And I think that just shows that sports bring us together in ways we can't imagine. As they look ahead to the state championship, the team isn't just playing for a trophy, but for Jim and Loma. As a team, we've definitely like, we're like, we can do this. Like we're going to do this for them. Like it's not about us anymore. Greenleaf is making shirts to honor their coaches for the title run. And on the back, they're gonna say, you fight for us, we fight for you. As it's what we told our coach when we saw him in the hospital. And um, then it says Jim and Loma under it. I just want to go and play my heart out for them because that's how they coached us and um, they're excited for us to be here so I want to go and do that and I think that's how the team is feeling too. And the girls did play their hearts out today but it wasn't enough. Greenleaf Friends Academy played in the tournament this afternoon and again they lost to Prairie 67 to 23 but listen to this. Our sports director Jay Tust was at that game and mentioned that the Prairie Pirates handed a rose to each Lady Grizz player after the game. A sweet gesture after the week they have had. Oh. Great sportsmanship there and support. Absolutely, and Coach Biddick's family set up a GoFundMe account to try to help cover out uh, out-of-pocket expenses. If you would like to donate, we'll have a link on how you can do so in this story at KTVB.com.